In the 21st century, UFO hunters are armed with technology that allows them to record anomalies in the sky with incredible clarity. And today's technology can also glean new information from photographs taken decades ago. The Northern Highlands of Costa Rica, September 4th, 1971. Photographer Sergio Loiza is conducting an aerial survey of Lake Cote for the National Geographic Institute using a special map-making camera that snaps photos at 13-second intervals. He's up in an airplane about 10,000 feet. He's taking photos of a hydroelectric project, and they're trying to calculate the environmental impact of this. So he's just taking these ordinary photos, gets back to the lab, takes a look at the contact sheets, and says, what's that up in the right-hand corner there? It's this mysterious, circular, shiny, metallic craft. Curiously, the object does not appear in either the previous frame of film or the one after. Instantly, the National Geographic Institute says, hey, you can't talk about this, and we're going to put a lid on this. And they do for some time. According to Loiza, he and his colleagues were forbidden from divulging any information about the object captured in the photograph which was estimated to be 160 feet in diameter. But in 1979, the photograph was leaked to the Argentine newspaper La Nación and analyzed by UFO researchers. The photo is studied later by Jacques Vallée and other UFO investigators, and they realize this is a, a tremendous photograph. This photo has been officially declared by Costa Rica as an official UFO photo. They don't know what it is after years and years of study. Many skeptics suggested that the object was likely some kind of debris or smudge that got on the film during the development process. But in 2021, Esteban Carranza, a friend of the Loiza family, was able to obtain the original contact sheets and have them scanned using the latest and most sophisticated technology. He gains uh, access to the original contact sheets and sends them off to a photographic lab, and they do a reproduction of the image using the most advanced technology to bring it forward. And they come up with this 1.8 gigabyte image of this craft. The debris and smudges that were visible in the original photograph are no longer present in the new higher resolution image. But the saucer-shaped object remains and is clearer than ever. This higher definition scan showed some new details. These new details helped take a number of prosaic explanations off the table. For example, it was said that it could have been a chip in the glass. However, you can see that that's not the case. This photo in and of itself in its original state was Tremendous. But now, with this incredible leap in technology, we're able to bring it to life in an even greater way. And it's just another example of this great leap that we're making now in our understanding of these UAPs.